Samsung Electronics announcing its fourth quarter profit surges some 76% due to smartphone sales. Joining me now is reporter Evan Ramstead from Seoul. Okay, Evan, Samsung's success is often equated with Apple's failure, failure or vice versa. Is Samsung really gaining ground on Apple outside the U.S. market? Well, yeah, but on the other hand, Samsung's always been ahead of Apple outside of the U.S. market and, in fact, inside of the U.S. market. I mean, if you uh, take a look at, at uh, the, the situation broadly, you know, Samsung um, has always been one of the world's uh, top uh, cell phone makers, really, for the last five, six, seven years or so. It, it had been number two in the world, uh, past Nokia, finally, as number one um, last year or the year before. Um, and so what people are doing, of course, is uh, saying now, focusing on the fact that um, Samsung Samsung has now passed Apple in smartphones. And um, now part of that is uh, Samsung's um, products have gotten better over the past couple of years. And, and their latest uh, Galaxy S3 phone is being considered really one of the, the first uh, alternatives to the Apple iPhone in coolness. Uh, but secondarily, you know, the entire cell phone uh, market is going into smartphones. And so it's only natural in some sense that uh, a company that was huge in cell phones would also be huge in smartphones. Smartphones. Samsung has made this transition a little bit faster than some of the other incumbent cell phone makers uh, in the world, but uh, really not that much faster. Okay, but there's a lot, obviously, a lot more players on the ground uh, today than there were several several years back. Um, Samsung obviously good at getting ahead of the curve back then. But any indication as to whether or not other smartphone makers, aside from Apple, are starting to cut into that competitive edge? Well, are other smartphone makers starting to be as cool as Apple in, in a sense or get, going to be at the high end? You know, only about half of Samsung's smartphones compete directly with Apple's at the high end. In other words, um, about half of the smartphones that Samsung sells are, you know, low or, or mid-end models. They have a huge lineup. They have four different lines, or five different lines, I should say. They have Galaxy S, uh, M, R, W, and Y. And um, those other four lines don't get talked much about. Of course, they're available in um, uh, less affluent countries. Um, and, you know, India, for instance, you, you see marketing from Galaxy W and Galaxy Y much more than you see Galaxy S, right? Um, so are other uh, cell phone companies doing the same? Yes. I mean, they have um, lots of diverse lineups coming now from, uh, you're hearing a lot from uh, companies like ZTE, uh, Huawei, LG is mostly at the high end, but has also started to move much more directly into the mid and low end markets. And so um, in, in a sense, uh, the, the big broader story is that um, this year will be the first year that smartphones uh, account for the majority of all cell phones sold in the world. And as you make that turn, uh, lots and lots of people are going to have much more diverse uh, lineups because, you know, that's what the market calls for. Okay, and obviously, as you just said, a lot of the success is in um, diversity. Any indication, has the company indicated which direction it's headed next to, to stay ahead of the curve? Well, for Samsung, uh, they are really focused on, um, you know, being at, in all markets and at all price points and levels. Um, of course, they get the most attention for uh, being up at the leading edge along with Apple. And it is because um, that race is so compelling to watch. Um, and it's because uh, Samsung has become the leading maker of the Android phones, which has become the main alternative to the um, iPhone and the iPhone's operating system. System. So um, uh, lots of people are really, really focused on what the next uh, version of the Galaxy S will be like. And we're not sure exactly when we're going to see that, but it's been striking to see how much hype there is around that phone. We wrote about this a few weeks ago in the journal, and it, it has continued. I mean, almost every day these gadget sites are, are trying to guess uh, when Samsung is going to announce this phone, what features are, are going to be in it. And so that's where the next uh, bit of attention is going to be probably in the March or April or May time frame. Okay, we'll just see how much hype uh, follows that. Uh, given the amount of uh, hype that, that before Apple sales, it's nice to see another competitor, uh, you know, people anticipating a launch of their product. 
Thanks very much, Evan Ramstead, joining us in Seoul. For more on that story, you could go to WSJ.com. I'm Deborah Khan.